Today we've got mail day, so we're gonna see what I've picked up over the last week. It's pretty much everything I've picked up, and I'll start with just the mail first, as always. Ah, brilliant. So these are just some of the cards I need for my deck that I'm building. So that's just some staples, really, even though they're not really staples. Ancient Mew. I bought this because I'm trying to collect a sheet of them, which would be nine. The, I still think it's crazy how essentially cheap these are, considering how old they are. Like you can pick up a good, a nice quality one for about 25 quid or 30 US dollars. I think they're cheaper than you. I, I don't think I could send this one to PSA. It's got a slight nick there, but I don't want it to be PSA'd. See what this is. Hey. Okay, so I've over ordered these. So I've got one extra I don't need, but that's for the deck. Oh wait, no, I know what happened. I pulled one. So I ordered them and I actually ended up pulling one. But like I've built that deck to be a fun budget deck, which hopefully will be good to use. Base set Gary. Fairly good condition. It does have some scratches on the front, but I think I want it in an auction for literally next to nothing. And again, I want a whole page. I keep saying sheet, but I mean page. A whole page of these. Probably a double page, actually. In a quad binder, so that would be 24 in total. I just think it looks fucking cool. And before I open the next envelope, I want to give a shout out to Next Win Collectibles. They essentially do really cool, geeky and nerdy prize raffles. If you use code GEEKOUT15, you get 15% off your first order, and I get a little bit of kickback from that as well. And also, very important, they are going to have a Pokemon one coming up soon, and I'm very, very tempted to enter it myself. I'm not allowed to use my own code though, which sucks. But it is that cool. When I'm allowed to tell you more about it, I will be. Anyway, back to the mail day. Pokemon Cores, go check out his eBay page. Let's see what we have here. Well, I know what we have here because I remember what I ordered off him. I've ordered off him before, so I know it's going to be good. This is a Gouging Fire special art, which is genuinely fucking sweet. And it's very... Very tidy on the back. I haven't really bought that to be PSA'd. I just bought it for the binder. This is the one I'm really interested in. Let's see if it's decent or not. Whiting there. It's a shame. I was warned though. He did tell me. And then Iron Leaves. Again, this one is purely for the binder. Just that artwork is fucking incredible. It's just so 80s it hurts. I refuse to buy the Iron Crown because I want to pull it. And also I was drunk when I ordered this, so my bad. Oh yeah, these are just energies for the deck I'm building. And I like I wanted the whole deck to be the sparkly energy ones, but I'm gonna just pretend I've built it using basic energy basic cards. You know what I mean, just normal energy. But I just wanted it because the, the sparkles they look lovely. What we have here, ah, okay, yeah. If you can guess what this is before I open it, well done to you. Comment below what you think it is. It's another PSA 6 Raichu because I'm picking these up cheaper than you can get them raw and they're better quality than the ones you can pick up raw. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, I know what's happening. It's the non-collectors find their Pokemon cards from when they're younger. See that one of these is going in a PSA 9 for sort of like 80, 90 quid, or PSA 8, I should say, and putting their raw one up for 80, 90 pounds, not understanding what PSA actually fucking means, and therefore it boosts the market up, but unrealistically. So you can end up picking PSA cards 
up for way cheaper that are better condition that I'm gonna crack and put into my binder. I think I'm gonna crack and put it into my binder. Every time I've had one so far, I've um, denied about it because I really like the PSA housing. I just think it makes them feel special, but then I do want those full pages, so comment below to let me know what you think I should do. Got no idea what this one is. Can't remember. Oh, I think I do actually. Yeah, it's the Shining Raichu from, Shining Raichu, sorry, from Paldean Fates. Is it Paldean Fates? 151. Paldean Fates. 151? Paldean Fates. Let's go Paldean Fates. I'm pretty sure it's Paldean Fates. And I just wanted that in PSA 10 because I know this and the Pikachu in 10s are going to be worth something in a few years' time. I say a few years' time. Probably 10 to 15 years, but I wanted to get one nice and early while well, they're still fairly cheap. And I know someone's going to argue with me in the bottom saying, I can't see them rising in prices. Yeah, okay, I can see these stalling and never going above a certain price. I just didn't want to take that risk when these are relatively cheap at the moment. So there we go. Now this is one that I'm very excited about. If I, I know what it is. If I think I know what it is. If I think I know what it is. How's that said? If it is what I think it is, there we go. Fucking hell. Well packaged. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. You guess what they are. See if you can guess, genuinely see if you can guess what these booster boxes are before you see them. And no, they're not base sets. I'm not that kind of player. Fucking hell. I, don't, I genuinely don't understand how people out there can literally afford to buy a base set booster box and then just fucking rip it to see if they get anything good. I think that's fucking insane. Anyway. If you haven't guessed already, we've got a couple boxes and they look minty when I bought them. Obviously they could be absolutely trashed in the, um, what do you call it, post. A couple boxes of Lost Tina. So that one's mintier than this one. So if I do decide, you know, I might open one for a video. If that's what you want to see and enough people say, yeah, I will open this one. But the reason I bought the Lost Tina boxes Relatively new set. Okay, yeah, it's Sword and Shield, so not Scarlet and Violet, Violet era. But these at the moment are 200 quid each, at the very minimum, so $240. All the other sets around the same time are still hanging around the 130, so $160 mark. And it's surely for the Tina, that, that special illustration art Tina in it, that's worth only about, 170 to 200 pounds, so 240 to 260 dollars. But the chances of pulling it in this are there. Like, you can't buy another set. Well, that's a stupid thing to say. Of course, it's just in this set. Think before I speak, anyway. So that's why I got this. And if you can afford to just buy one and hoard it, I would if I were you, because these are just going to go up in value. And in two more years' time, this is going to be four or five hundred quid. In 10 years' time, it's going to be what evolutions are right now. So around the eight, 900 quid mark, if not more. And then we're going to come to the two pickups. So I got two of these of Russell again. Massive thanks for the hookup. And I bought, or actually this one here, I traded for and gave cash for. And I'll let you know in a minute what that is, but I'll do these two first. We got the um, special art Garchomp from Paradox Rift. A slow bro, dark slow bro. I haven't actually checked condition. I did get a good price, so I'm not really worried and I'm not gonna PSA it. But the front is pretty minty. Obviously some silvering down the sides, but nothing major. And the back is pretty good condition as well for the age. So I'm very happy with that. So shout out to Russ for that. Now this card is the one. And talking about Lost Origins, I have the Tina. Here we go. And I traded this Russ's daughter, Scarlet. Hi Scarlet, thank you very much for the trade. I traded a booster box and some cash for this Paradox Rift booster box. And it was a fair deal. I felt that I got a fair deal out of it and she got a fair deal out of it as well. 
but look at that. And this I have bought to PSA, so hopefully, it's a little bit mislined on the back. It's not centered very well. That's unfortunate. I might send it off and just check if it doesn't come back PSA, keep it raw. So it'll be interesting to see. I think it's worth the 20 pound, no, what is it? $15 price mark to check to see if that does come back as a 10, which I don't think it will, because that is quite off center at the top. I don't know if it's picking it off at camera, but it's almost it's thicker this side than it is this side. This is the card that everyone's hunting for in these. I knew I had to get it because I knew if I didn't get it, my mind would be on cracking one of these just for the sake of getting this card. Because I'm a man child and I, I, I have zero patience. So yeah, there we go. That's my pickups for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like. Liking is the best way to support the channel and it's absolutely free. Commenting helps a lot too. So if you want to comment anything, anything you want to see, comment below and I will get back to you. If you want to support the channel even further, maybe think about becoming Patreon. Patreon gets the names in the credits, whichever side it's on, um, early videos, and they get exclusive content as well. Not forgetting, next win collectibles. If you like geeky and nerdy raffles, they're the people to go and see. If you use my, if you use my code geekout15, you get 15% off your first order, and they can now take international orders as well. So maybe think about checking them out. And I do get a little bit of a kickback from them if you use my code. Thank you in advance for anyone who does use it and for them for giving me the opportunity to be an affiliate. So yeah, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching and remember as always, don't freak out, geek out.